Hello, my Craftables crew. As most of you know, I'm a graphic designer and a paper craft artist for companies like Disney, Lucasfilm, and others. But today we're going to be diving into the wild world of t-shirt design. Why? Well, I'm proud to say that I was finally accepted into the YouTube Partnership Program, so now I can add some cool and fun products to the shopping shelf under my videos. A new character that I've been working on for a super secret new papercraft project that's coming soon is this cute little yeti monster. And for this video, I thought it'd be fun to experiment with this art and see if I could make it into a cool t-shirt design. And you can join in the process by voting for your favorites in the comment section. Hold on a second. Let me see if this is done. Is it hot enough? So the message I came up with was, So the message I came up with for this is a, is a play on words. Yeti for anything. Just imagining what that might look like makes me smile. So I'm going to show you how a graphic designer thinks when designing a product like a t-shirt. So enjoy. It's going to get messy. My first tip is to draw an actual t-shirt shape and then drop your art on there. Seeing the design in a t-shirt frame really helps visualize what it might look like as a real product. The Yeti all by himself is really cute, but what if we put his face inside some sort of enclosure? It, it sort of gives it more of a logo feel. Yeah, and then I'll make sure its horns poke out of the frame of this enclosure to make the design really pop. So yeah, either of these would make a cool shirt. Let's give them names so they're easy to talk about and compare. So we have design A and B. But as I said before, I want to pair the visual with some text to take it to that next level. Style-wise, we can do anything, but it might be fun to use a font that gives it sort of a retro feel, like a sign at a diner or something. And one of my favorite fonts for this look is called Ed's Market. Yeah, I like this. Maybe we'll give it a little tilt and some shadow. Nice. Let's call this version C. And what usually happens at this phase in the creation process is some new ideas start to creep in because you start thinking, is this whole idea completely stupid? I mean, why am I even doing this? And this feeling, this doubt, it's completely normal. And you really just have to push through it. So let's just let's just go ahead and think. What what else might this Yeti like to say? So words like cool, and chill, relax. Hmm. What about chillax? <laughs> I like that. Uh, so this could be version D. This design might look good with his whole body too. So how about version E? I like how short and sweet the text is, but maybe we expand on the message and make it more like a headline. So chillax. I'm in full Yeti mode. Maybe. I don't know. So this is version F. You can see how the world of graphic design is lots of fun, but it's also kind of frustrating because it can be a never ending process once you get rolling. Ideas open doors to more ideas. So let's dig even deeper. The kawaii Yeti face in the red circle is giving me a Japanese vibe. So let's let's go with it. What if we didn't even use English? and we incorporate a kanji character into the design. Like this is the kanji for the word relax. So yeah, this is a cool possibility. A shirt like this would make people ask you what it means when you're wearing it out and about. And so you'll have a fun answer for them. But maybe the shirt should be white. And maybe the design would look a little better if it were smaller and on the pocket area of the shirt. What do you think? Version G. The kanji adds a neat organic quality to the shirt. Maybe I should go back to my original headline and make it more customized and hand-drawn to capture some of that vibe. The hallmark of a great font is when it has things called ligatures. So so what's a ligature? It's a, it's a special character that combines two or sometimes three characters into a single character. A standard ligature's function is to solve the problem of characters that crash when set next to each other. But there are also things known as creative ligatures, and those are letter pairs or sets that are just plain cool and full of style. A really great source to see some fonts with super creative ligatures is Blambot. This font is called Wretched Remains, and certainly not right for this Yeti t-shirt, but 
I love the ligatures. And I can use this font to test some base shapes and then redraw it to something that feels right for the project. So, version H. I can also take this headline unit and use Adobe Illustrator's warp tool to make the text block have some interesting shape to it, almost becoming like a base or a platform for the Yeti logo to sit on. Version I. But hey, what, what if the platform could be something more tangible? Yeah, like, like a mountain for the Yeti to stand on. Hmm, version J. So lots of ideas here. And I like to go back and forth and look at all of them and try and figure out what's working and what's not working, pulling some details from each concept to form new concepts. And a lot of these are on the right track, but now I'm inspired to create my very own custom font and invent some super creative ligatures that are specific just to these words. It's like inventing a puzzle out of the letters. And here is version K. And as I look at this one, I really do think that version K might be the strongest design of the bunch, but I'd love to know what you think in the comments, so let me know. But now I need to get back to work on my super secret papercraft project. And if you made it this far in the video, you're probably super curious what's in this box. Okay, all right, come on out, little guy. Jeez. Nope, nope, he's not ready yet. Trust me, papercraft can be dangerous. You don't believe me? Then check out this video about the papercraft crewmates and see for yourself.